Hey, it's Andrew Huang. Switched it up on you there. Today we're gonna make a track very quickly. I don't know if you remember seeing a couple months ago when I made a track in one hour and all the sounds in the track came from YouTube clips that were uploaded in an hour in the past hour. I'm not gonna give myself a time limit today, I'll just finish it sometime today. But I am gonna add in the extra challenge of having to use the first result I get on all of my searches. I'm gonna have to be very careful about these search terms I select. Let's begin. So let's get the foundations locked down. I'm gonna find a drum beat. The very best drummer in the world right now. 2016. Awesome. Nothing uploaded in the last hour. Okay, uploaded today? One result. Let's check this out. Alright, welcome to another Drum Digest. I'm skimming through here and it looks like all they're doing is talking about drums. Let's grab the intro music. Keep it. Let's get some more drums. We'll layer them up. Drumming. Fun. Three hours ago, Muse dead inside drum cover. Okay. Sure. I guess we're gonna be using a little bit of Muse in here. Uh, copyright, copyright, copyright. Let's go a little more electronic with our music. Hello my friends, this is Subsuke again with another tutorial. Oh yeah, this track's gonna be awesome. Why don't we throw some guitar in there? Let's search for cool guitar bro. Did you mean cool guitar pro? No. No, I did not. Ooh, we've got, okay, wait, that's an ad. One result. This looks like a hockey video, though. Okay, because the, the channel is called Boy Brody Bro Guitar. Great name. So I guess this is him or someone he knows playing hockey. Okay, that might be a challenge, but when have I ever backed down from a challenge? I think my search terms so far have had too many words, probably. I'm just gonna put in electric guitar. Yeah, here we go. Tons of results. All right, what's the first one that is not an ad? Super bluesy. Might be difficult to work in, but let's give it a shot. I've been playing it pretty safe so far, searching for instruments. So now I'm just gonna search for random words. And to ensure that they're completely random, I am going to ask people on Twitter what I should search for. Are you following me on Twitter, by the way? What search terms should I use this time? Tweeted. Got some tweets rolling in. I like macaroni cheese. Top result. Gluten-free cookbook. The gluten-free cookbook for slow cookers. Easy gluten-free recipes. Ebook. Hi. This is a summary of the ebook. When you are preparing a home. I love a good computer voice. This is amazing. It's not only important that it be hearty and delicious, but that it is also nourishing. Oh man, I love YouTube. Download. Jacob says beep beep. I like it. Beep beep. Filter by last hour. A seven second video called beep. With the description beep beep. Ah. Oh. It's just... <laughs> oh, and the channel is called Barney Drunk. Is this what he does when he's drunk? That's six videos I've downloaded so far. Let's see what we can make. Start with the drums again. I'm chopping the most useful drum sounds out of the drummer interview introduction track. Here are my four chops. Let's check out those Muse drums. I do really like all of that, um, the way it flows, the way that there are these uh, synthesizer effects at the end of every bar. We're gonna start by upping the tempo. I also feel like this rhythm is slightly too straight ahead for my liking, so I'm gonna go into the uh, clip volume automation envelope. Just turn down a few of the beats that I don't really want in there, like that one. All the way through, those are the beats I wanna lose. Now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and make those envelopes a little smoother. I don't want the volume to just chop off, but kind of fade a bit. Now here's our edited loop. Now let's take those other drums that we chopped and double this up. Here's our second loop. At this point, I am remembering that there was some clapping and cheering in that hockey video. Maybe we can get a clap out of it. 
more cheering than clapping. I'm gonna take some of the cheering. Next up, we have this guitar. Very bluesy, which is not the flavor I want for this track, but right at the beginning, let's put that in somewhere. Let's make it match the key, the new key of that Muse track. There we go. Maybe an octave down would be better. It's a nice guitar loop. A lot of atmosphere in there. Let's use the beep noise. Uh, I actually have a, a great idea with this. We're gonna turn it into our bass line because I do not want it to be that high pitched. Let's see what that sounds like really low. Throw a little saturator on there to uh, warm it up. We got a sub bass. Let's write a little bass line. All right, now I'm gonna use the fire alarm beep, but a little bit higher, and uh, we're just gonna create this atmospheric chord with a little bit of delay. Moving on, we still need to work with these synth stabs. Okay, I've chopped that loop out. Now to time it to the rest of our beat and uh, get it in the right key. Here's how it sounds now. So I think we have all our elements in place. I'm just gonna structure this track now, give it a bit of a build up, maybe mix it a little better, and I will share it with you when it's done, right now. All right, welcome to another gluten-free cookbook. Somebody made a Not free. comment or leave a like <laughs> and uh, until when I see you the next time bye thanks for watching